Hey guys, and welcome back to Urban Strike. When we last left off, uh, we were kicking some serious ass, and we just made it to Las Vegas. Now my emulator has completely glitched out, and I had to reset it. And for some reason, that made my old save states not work, so uh, I had to go watch a video back and put in the password. Now, problem with this game. If we go to B and push, uh, we'll push B and go to um, select our pilots, we cannot select um, Long Haul, who is the best pilot. I've looked this up extensively. For some reason, uh, all of the passwords I can find don't um, allow you to use Long Haul. Not sure what that's about because he's the best pilot. However, we do have uh, Stinger and Legal. So it's not the end of the world. I mean, to be honest, like the difference between Stinger and Long Haul is very small. Um, Stinger's better than Legal. There's, there's quite a good markup there. Uh, it's just a shame. Like, I don't know why because we've unlocked him because we have to unlock him. It's not like uh, in Desert Strike where you can actually miss. And Jungle Strike, I think, where you can actually miss the code pilots. Um, in this, you, you, you no, you can't miss them in Desert Strike. Sorry, you, you, they are part of the mission as well. But in, in uh, Desert Strike, of course, uh, you could miss the pilots. They were like secrets. Um, Whereas in this, they're part of the game. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. But hey, that's fine. That, that, it is what it is. Anyway, enough waffling bullshit by me. Let's get into this. Uh, my start button would work. My best plans lie in ruins. I can't believe he tore through my air force. Uh, I tore through your forces before. Who is this pilot anyway? The same one who fried your ass. Blasting New York City was just a test of my laser's true power. Let's see how well he operates when I take their top military and political leaders. Oh my. Las Vegas is under siege. Oh no. Malone's forces have sealed off the city and are patrolling the main Vegas strip. Malone's headquarters are heavily defended. You will need to take back the city before attempting an assault on his fortress. Further attacks of Malone's laser on NORAD and Air Force One have allowed us to zero in on its location. Yes, now I can hurt him where it counts. Yeah, in the sack. And pay him back for ego. Triangulating the beams indicates that Malone has a super weapon in a hidden base near Las Vegas. In order to secure the city, neutralize all enemy radar and weaponry. Once the city is secure, clear a landing zone at Malone's uh, casino and land for a ground attack. Tell intelligence they outdid themselves on this one. Okay. Maybe I will finally get to meet this scumbag face to fist. <laughs> face to fist. I like it. Now this mission is all set during the day. Uh, during the day? Ty, you're retarded, mate. Set during the night. Yes, the darkest day I've ever seen. Haha, <laughs> the darkest day and we're defending the city. Yes. Um, now, this mission, I haven't managed to find a quick ladder on there, uh, on it. Maybe there is one. Uh, I have not found one anywhere. This mission is a doozy, man. This mission really repeatedly kicks you in the sacks. It's hard, actually. It's probably the hardest mission in the game certainly from my memory anyway uh so we are going to have to be a little bit careful look how many enemies there are yes yeah, right look at that the land sharks these things suck and if that's okay we can just avoid them right wrong a we 100 percent these maps where we can and b you have to destroy them all so, yeah, this mission is a doozy. There are two extra lives, which we will get, but um, if, this one can put up some resistance. It's not going to show us where there's any armor. There are quite a few armor repairs dotted around, but uh, they're all hidden. And if you look how much fuel we start off with as well. <laughs> two at base, then two out in the field. That is not a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a lot at all, but 
luckily, we will find more as we go. Ammo is not really an issue on this level. There's so much ammo on this level. We'll be stirring our coffee with it. Um, right. Anyway, what we are going to do... Ooh, danger zone straight away. Oof. We're going to shred... Ooh, no, 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 no. Land shark straight away. Let's waste his ass with four missiles. Yeah, every... Um, Building that we can open up, we will open up. Uh, most buildings have goodies inside. And, oh, radar. Oh, son of a bitch. Every single. There we go, he's gone. Every single uh, p petrol station has fuel in it, so bear that in mind. Now, because there's so many of these land sharks, man, they can strip your health away pretty damn quick. It's. Uh, Oh, and there's Elvis. There are a lot of... Oh, gold. Right. You could pick two of these guys up. I haven't read the mission yet, have I? So, capture radar commander. Find the radar commander vehicle and capture the commander. He will tell you the location of the hidden radar sites. Yeah, the radar sites. There's one or two of them. Right. So, we've got to pick up this dude here. If you pick the wrong dude up... It will come up saying, ah, with some urging, I can think, uh, I think we can get him to tell us where the radar units are located. Yeah, they're fucking everywhere. If you pick up the wrong guy, which is very easy to do, it will come up on the screen saying, he's got a bomb, and you'll instantly die, no matter how much health you've got. So, yeah, uh, during testing, I found that out the hard way. Uh, I sadly don't have that footage. Uh, oh, God. <sighs> We're going to stay way clear of that. Yeah, uh, I've had some, like I said, I had some emulator issues. Uh, this game was not recording uh, at all, very well whatsoever. I almost had to give up this series. Uh, I tried everything to get this to work. Uh, it was having none of it. I don't know why I restarted my computer. God knows how many times. I reinstalled the emulator. I reinstalled all my drivers. I don't know what happened, but eventually it just started working again. So, oh man, computers, I tell you, I love them, but I hate them at the same time. Right, these quickies, lil, also pretty much always have stuff in them. So, anyway, destroy hidden radar units. Yeah, they're not really that hidden. Uh, find and destroy the early warning radar units hidden on civilian structures and landmarks around the city look for the rotating dishes yeah you know you yeah yeah you could look for the rotating dishes or you could uh, <clears throat> you know check the map like a sane human being for god's sakes right let's keep going anything that looks blow upable we're gonna shred because we need fuel this thing is thirsty dude this thing is so thirsty you can't destroy those buildings believe me i tried no dice I don't know if you can destroy that one. Oh, God. Right. If we can slide any vehicles out on their own, uh, we're going to shred them. Oh, look at this happy chap with a radar in his head. Yeah, fucked. I think, yeah, that spawns a land shark. But that's okay. You should be dead. Sometime. You know, three hellfires are supposed to scratch these guys because uh, they have 300 health. But... It doesn't always uh, go down that way. Shit. Okay, I think we just filled our pilot suit full of shit, but we're okay. We're good. We're gravy. Everything's good. You know, we're living the dream. We're not dead. I don't think we're dead. Maybe we're dead. I don't know. Right, there should be a petrol station or something around here. There's a quickie. Uh, let's, let's, let's have a quickie, shall we? See if what's in here. <gasps> Ammo. Yeah, they're always... Bloody ammo, which is a pain in the dick. Dude, fuel is so far away. Ah, we're never going to make that. Um, yeah, fuel is going to be a, kind of like a constant problem here. You blow those uh, cars and things up, but you get in trouble for that. They're like, dude, man, you just like frag some civvies, yo. Um, which is not good. Uh, you know, we get frowned upon for that. Personally, I say shoot them all, uh, let God sort them out. But apparently, that is a very frowned upon thing to say. So, hey, who would have thunk it? You know. 
I'm here to do a job, and that is to kill the bad guys. And if we got to crack a few uh, innocent eggs to make a very tasty, delicious, enemy-filled omelette, then, you know, that's, that's what's going to happen have to happen. Have you heard the term for the greater good? It was used a lot in the excellent film Hot Fuzz. For the greater good. Sacrifice a few to save the many. So there we've got some armor there which is fantastic. Uh, spoiler, we're going to need that later. Alright, another quickie. Let's get, God damn, we're having a lot of quickies tonight. Jesus. Alright, what have you got for me? Ammunition. We like ammunition. One second guys, my phone. Is going off because of course it is. Uh, who is messaging me now? God damn it. Apparently nobody, but my phone's going zzz, zzz, and I can hear my laptop in the other room going bidding. So it's like somebody's messaging me. But apparently that somebody is nobody. Ooh! God, don't you hate it like when Facebook gives you those notifications, uh, if you use Facebook guys, and you go onto it and uh, it says like you've got a thousand notifications, uh, but you actually don't, it's lying to you. Yeah, I get that quite often. Right, and it's definitely getting worse as well, it never used to be as shit as it is, but Facebook's pretty shit anyway. Social media, ugh, I hate it. I hate it. Although I have been using my uh, Facebook account on, on uh, you know, uh, Facebook uh, for my YouTube channel again. Because it's just the most complete social media experience. I can post videos to it. I can post pictures to it. I can post updates to it. Just random updates. Can't do that with, like, Twitter very well. I hate Twitter. And you can't do that with Instagram. Instagram, you can only post from your phone, which is really shit. Um, unlimited, and the photos you post have to be certain aspect rate. Oh, I just, I hate it. Yeah, Facebook's just, you know, it's the most convenient one, but it's also the one with the least reach. Um, uh, so why, why is social media a thing? Why do we need it? Woo! Shit on a shovel, son. Zuckerberg himself is piloting that one. Oof, right. Yes, I am moaning about your empire. Now, you may have noticed there's a life here. And that is one of the lives. So we're going to have that bad boy. That gives us a grand total of four lives. There's one more hidden life that I know of hidden in this mission as well. So we've done radar. We're now moving on to roadblocks. Um, clear roadblocks. Malone's henchmen have put up roadblocks and are attacking civilians fleeing the area. Open the roads with a few rockets before any vacationers are lost. Yep, pretty self-explanatory here. So, as you can see, they're dotted pretty much uh, north, east, south and west. They are guarded somewhat lightly. Some of them are a bit tastier than others but we should be able to handle it anyway we're pretty low on armor but once we do this roadblock it should lead us nicely to a fresh steaming uh, load of uh, a new helmet yes because uh, I'm convinced all we do to get our armor patched up is we put on another helmet that makes sense in my mind anyway you're welcome to join me in that assumption, or you can make up your own assumption. Maybe he wears armoured underwear, which he just shit himself earlier, so that's, that's probably not, uh, not a nice thing to think about. But hey, my mind goes into strange places t at times. Ooh, we're bingo fuel. Ah, that's all right, we've got fuel up here somewhere. Right, let's go scoop up this fresh helmet. Lovely. And some go juice. Nice. All right, not bad. Ooh. We could use some uh, ammo as well. Yeah, ammo is the most common resource here. We've got so much ammo. It's literally coming out of our ass, uh, to be honest, which is good because uh, we're going to need it. We're also going to need as much uh, arm, um, armor. Yes, armor as we can get our hands on too. All right. Yeah, we're not playing around it. Not playing around. I can imagine, yeah, we've already taken like almost 30% damage. Uh, and we were just, you know, there's only a handful of enemies there. This mission is savage. It can go south so fast. 
uh, this game is actually like as we've said previously comparative to the other two it's really quite easy but this mission if you let it it will uh, well beat you to a pulp and uh, send you packing in a jam jar so it's it's not good there are old pilots and there are bold pilots but there are no old bold pilots as uh, we shall Ooh, Jesus as we will hear in the sequel uh, Ooh, see you in hell son wasted his ass right now armor is 685 which is not fantastic uh, so now we're on the strip Clear the strip of enemy weapons. Destroy the enemy weapons that have the city under siege. Clear the famous strip of enemy SAMs and ground assault vehicles. Yep. Yeah. That's what we've got to take out. Um, an awful... Awfully large amount of these are land sharks. So, interestingly enough, they're not all flashing, but I think that's because they're perfectly overlaid with um, the other red markers there. But this mission, guys, Jesus Christ. If you're not ready for this, this will literally slap you in the nuts. Seriously. Uh, this mission, man, I've had some issues with this mission before. Um it, it, ugh. But that's okay, because Strike Corps isn't fucking around this time. We've got the second best co-pilot known to man. She's ready to rock. And we're here to take some fucking souls. Right, okay. Ah, that's fine. We like it when they're the little bulldogs. The little bulldogs get shredded without uh, much trouble at all. Ooh, wasted his ass. Right, okay. Need to be careful, though. Oof. Now, we've always finished this game as well, which... Uh, yay, another one done, but... Ooh, I want more strike. We need more strike, damn it. And technically, we still have two strike games to go after this. Which I can finally, finally bust out my uh, new PlayStation... Well, yeah, technically, my new PlayStation 3 for... Um... Since I've had it on my birthday, I haven't used it yet. Right now, there's some sexy juiciness in here. Uh, well, at least in some of these. One of these can... Ooh. Oh, that's fine. One of these contains uh, an extra life. And I think another one contains some other goodies as well. What was that? Ah, that was ammo. Uh, yeah, we might grab that ammo in a minute. That's cool. There's some fuel around here too. I know that much. Because, you know, sometimes I remember things. Not often, you know. But give me some credit. Sometimes I remember things. And it's glorious. Like when that light bulb comes on and, man, pictures start appearing in your brain. Ah, extra life. Cool. Good stuff. Now, there should be some fuel up around here. Ah, right. That's the fuel we already got. That ain't no good. And our fuel is getting low again. Because of course it is. I think out of all these like weird gazebo things. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. They're just throwing these things at us. Armor is 60. Jeez guys. That's as close as it gets. Seriously. Oof. We almost disappeared like a fart in a fan factory. Man, that would have been bad. Right, okay, that's fine. I mean, we've got loads of lives, to be right, to be fair. And um, to also be fair, uh, this mission gets significantly easier once we do this because we're going to destroy, like, 90% of the enemy stuff. So, you know, there's that, I suppose. Right, let's scoop this shit up. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know if there's a... Uh, quick ladder on this level. I want to say there probably is, but I haven't found it, so, you know. Right, you're done. Oh, wow. He just went up in flames, man. Burned to death for me. Wait. I thought, did we not, we need ammo. Did we not pick up ammo? We did not pick up ammo, did we? Titan, you are a tit. You're a fool of the highest caliber. Jesus. 
All right. There we go. Locked and loaded. Hmm. You fool of a took. I'm talking about being a fool of a took as well. I think I have let my coffee go cold. Nope, there's still some warmth there. There's still some warmth there. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't care about wasting the ammo, but we can't take repeated hits like that. Ah, oh, nice. How they fall. Yeah, well, we've we've basically finished this mission now. Um, but you know, we ain't we ain't no like weekend warriors. We're gonna do the whole lot because that's how we roll. Why do half a job? You know. Ooh. Nice. Uh, what we like rocket one is twelve left, which is enough. Oh, that's fine. And say that's enough to sink uh, a land shark, but of course we don't have another land shark to take out, unless this son of a bitch over here is a land shark. Yeah, it could be, could be either. That's fine. Well, yeah, it's a land shark. Unload! Oh god! Fuck you, pal. Fuck you. Two fifty armor is all we have left. Right, now we have the power grid. Knockout power grid. Knockout power grid. Shouldn't it be like knockout the power grid? Hey, what do I know? Knockout the power relay station on the edge of town. When it is destroyed, the enemy defenses will weaken their targeting systems. And their targeting systems will fail. Excellent. Maybe we should have done that earlier, but sure. Sure, we'll knock out the power grid now. And it is dark here, man. Somewhere there's a church. And we can destroy the church. Uh, because why not, I guess. But inside, there is a couple getting married. Uh, there's a couple of guys that will shoot you as well. And there's a vicar dressed like Elvis. Uh, I'm trying to find out. It's not actually Elvis. It doesn't count as you saving uh, Elvis. Because he does shoot at you. So, you know. Uh, not the nicest gentleman around. But, ah, oh, there's armor there. Yes, yes, yes. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me that fresh helmet. Lovely. Uh, yeah, so, where the, ah, there we go. I think this is pretty much the only other Brucey bonus that I know of. Boom, baby, there's Elvis. Yeah, so we kill Elvis and the dude there, but we can save the groom and the, the wife. Uh, the groom and the bride, I should say. Um, I... I can't remember if that's a bonus or not, to be honest. But hey, it's something cool. And I like things that are cool. Just say. Right, let's go shred the power plant. I like the way the power plant is different. Do you remember in like um, Desert Strike, all the power plants look the same? Now, you know, Desert Strike was like the first in the series. So it's bound to be the roughest. Uh, which is fair. It was still an amazing game. Uh, oh, look at all those goodies. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of repeated assets in Desert Strike. Look at all this armor repair. Man, we've absolutely stomped this mission, actually. Oh, hello. Not even worried about you now, buddy. You can get wrecked. Right, okay. So, final mission, really, because 7 and 6 is basically the same sort of thing uh capture malone's casino clear malone's casino hq of hostiles blast the aa guns protecting the landing zone on the light lighted cement parking lot in the front yeah yeah this is fairly standard we just gotta go dust a load of landing um well artillery equipment nothing too much to worry about here and there's a couple of guys here but they ain't nothing to worry about shred those now, Stinger, you really are missing a lot of shots, me dear. Try not to do that. These missiles, I'm guessing, are expensive. And it's better. Oh, God, we're completely dry. Oh, Jesus. Right, duck and weave. There we go. Not bad. 
and believe it or not, that's this mission complete. Yes. All we've got left to do now, we might as well go rearm and reload because, hey, why not? We might as well use their equipment. Go back fully freaking loaded. Yunk. 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 All right, let's get out of here. And let's go set this bird down. And then that's going to be the end of this mission, guys. Uh, I, I was expecting a little bit more resistance, but to be honest, uh, I was also expecting to complete this uh, game today. But no, I guess I'm not completing this game today because I spent two, uh, two, and, a half, two and a half hours trying to get my emulator to work again. Um, but let's touch down and I will read the final mission just before I can't. So <laughs> landing pad infested. So, land and enter casino. Set your attack chopper down on the uh, landing zone and enter Malone's casino on foot. We'll be done. And there we have it, my friends. I think that's the hardest mission in the game, to be honest. It's fairly savage. But, you know, with a bit of patience and uh, some iron will, we can get through there. Or get through it. Like we just did that didn't make sense. I've been at work all day, god damn it. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and as always, till next time.